Hey, 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 everybody. It's your girl Lush, and I'm back in the building again. And you know it's Women's Month, and we're highlighting people. Last week we highlighted um, Lucy, and now we're talking to the two amazing dancers, actors, performers. They are in the new hit series, Watch Out for the Big Girl. And that was created by Lizzo. Um, so, um, so many amazing women are on this show. It's a show about um, embodiment. Lizzo was looking for some dancers and to highlight women of all different sizes and shapes and showing that the empowerment and the beauty and, and the feminine power, um, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And these people find themselves, they show off their talents and it was a national search. And it's exciting that the show was about to hit the um, screen on Netflix soon. So we're gonna be talking to them to give their experience on that. Um, They've already been doing a whole bunch of press, but um, we're going to go ahead and go to the trailer real quick of Watch Out for the Big Girl, and we're going to have them on in a few minutes, okay? So stay tuned. This is your girl, Lushy Lush of LushRadioOnline.net. You can find most of the interviews on there. Follow us on Instagram and look for more. Today's show is sponsored by She Wins. When she wins, we all win, pouring into women and allowing them to grow. for dancers to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. Time to pull up my sleeves and find them myself. <laughs> we thick and we pretty and we know what we bout. It's the battle of the big girls. To be a background dancer for Lizzo would just mean everything. <laughs> it's showtime. Hey, ladies! What do we have in store? This is the fun part. I'm always doubting myself, and I feel like that has been detrimental in how I approach dance. I'm realizing that I do deserve a spot on that stage. It's hard to love yourself in a world that doesn't love you back. You were created specially in your image for you to enjoy. You don't have to be light-skinned. You don't have to be skinny. You're just beautiful the way you are. I need to challenge myself and step outside my comfort zone. Now I'm going into competition mode. Fire. Some people are not at the same level that I am. I'm gonna call you little sis. He's trying to demean me. He's not understanding how to read the room. Oh. You might not make it into the show. I see a lot of potential, but this is not the time for potential. Okay. There's more than just one image of beauty. It's about to get real. It's time to show the world how we do it. Watch out for the big girls. Patiently, quietly, faithfully. Worship me. So make sure you mark your calendars. March 25th, it goes down. Watch out for the big girl. It is going down. Um, it's it's going to get emotional. It's it's going to be empowering. It's going to give you a different perspective of what beauty looks like in this new age, in this new journey that we're in now. What does it look like? You know, we've gone through so many different um, evolutions on on body image, you know, and uh, both of these young ladies that are going to join us today are big advocates of you know, um, you know, racism and also, you know, body advocacy, making sure that being body positive, you know, um, so many people deal with, you know, mental health challenges due to people bullying them about their body. Um, you have a lot of people that go through situations that, you know, they are sick. Maybe they have cancer, God forbid, or they have some kind of lymphedema, which I suffer with, where, you know, people think of it as fat, but it's a medical condition. So just, you know, being mindful of how we look at people and then what is the perspective of beauty in this new age? You know, at one point it was like a model had to be super skinny and like could barely eat. Then there was, um, you know, the, the other type, they had to be super tall. Now models can be short, short, um, short tall and um, all different type of ranges of models. Um, so now people are getting more open-minded. Now even looking at Fenty Beauty, Rihanna, I congratulate her showing that, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, what shape you are, what condition you are. 
And, you know, anybody can be beautiful um, rocking her Fenty Beauty, which I definitely love. And shout out to her for having her baby. Her baby, she's pregnant and she's so cute and she's glowing. So shout out to Rihanna. Um, and I'm just proud of Lizzo. You know, um, she broke down a lot of barriers because so many people you know, used to come at her and everything like that. And she's always been authentic and real about, you know, the things that she was going through, even her rise into the music industry. So seeing her do this is just monumental. And she's making history right here. Watch out for the big girl is definitely going to be amazing. And I'm so excited to have these amazing ladies here on the show. And we'll be right back and we'll have them on. And they'll tell us more about their experience and what's in the future for them. So stay tuned. I'm excited. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this show forever.
looking for dancers to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. Time to pull up my sleeves and find them myself. <laughs> <laughs> we thick and we pretty and we know what we about. It's the battle of the big girls. To be a background dancer for Lizzo would just mean everything. <laughs> it's showtime. Hey, ladies! What do we have in store? This is the fun part. I'm always doubting myself, and I feel like that has been detrimental in how I approach dance. I'm realizing that I do deserve a spot on that stage. It's hard to love yourself in a world that doesn't love you back. You were created specially in your image for you to enjoy. You don't have to be light-skinned. You don't have to be skinny. You're just beautiful the way you are. I need to challenge myself and step outside my comfort zone. Now I'm going into competition mode. Fire. Some people are not at the same level that I am. I'm gonna call you little sis. He's trying to demean me. He's not understanding how to read the room. Oh. You might not make it into the show. I see a lot of potential, but this is not the time for potential. Okay. There's more than just one image of beauty. It's about to get real. It's time to show the world how we do it. Watch out for the big girls. Patiently, quietly, faithfully. Worship me. hear me? I cannot hear you, sadly. Oh, no. The AirPods are not working. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Can you hear oh, me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Oh, I can't hear her. Can you hear? Can you hear her? I can't hear her. We can we can we can talk to each other, but we can't hear you. No. for dancers to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. Time to pull up my sleeves and find them myself. <laughs> we thick and we pretty and we know what we about. It's the battle of the big girls. To be a background dancer for Lizzo would just mean everything. <laughs> it's showtime. Hey, ladies! 
What do we have in store? This is the fun part. I'm always doubting myself, and I feel like that has been detrimental in how I approach dance. I'm realizing that I do deserve a spot on that stage. It's hard to love yourself in a world that doesn't love you back. You were created specially in your image for you to enjoy. You don't have to be white skin. You don't have to be skin. All right, let's try it again. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So <laughs> we're back. The devil's a liar. <laughs> I know, right? I know. We try to do amazing things here. So we have Ariana, um, and uh, we're just waiting for um, Sydney. But uh, we want to go ahead and get started. First of all, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you here, Queen. Thank you. you are doing amazing things, and you're also a dog mom too, right? I am. Oh my God. <laughs> I just got a new puppy. Yes. Oh yeah. I have, I have a cockapoo and, um, you know, you never know how much you're going to fall in love with him. Right. Oh my gosh. Right. Like I literally took like the most embarrassing, like mommy dog pictures and put them away Instagram because I'm just so <laughs> in love with him. <laughs> he, he is so cute. He is so cute. First Thank of you. all, um, you know, acting theater dance you know you definitely find your that's your that's your warehouse man dancing doing your thing and then also you know just being an advocate for so many different charities and you know yes. finding finding your voice i think is the biggest thing in this new era and this new journey as for women in general when you first got that call and they said hey we want you on this series what was your what was that emotion for you Oh my goodness. I definitely think that I was like, this is not happening. This is surreal. The, I definitely think it was surreal is the word that I want to use. Um, because I was like, no, they didn't just call me and say that they wanted me on the show. That's not real. No, that can't be real. Um, <laughs> but it was definitely real. And then once I was like on the plane going and once I landed in LA, then I was like, okay, this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, that's, that's crazy because, you know, Lizzo herself has broken so many barriers. So how was that working with her? Oh my goodness. Lizzo is such a trailblazer. Um, she is such an amazing advocate and role model for so many people. Um, and working with her, I feel like she rubs off on all of us. Um, I, I don't even know. She's, she's such an amazing person. She, she's so real and honest and vulnerable with us. Um, the personality that you guys see in the media and on social media, um, is completely the same exact person that she is in real life. And, um, I definitely think that, um, when working with her, it motivates me to be a trailblazer myself. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Another thing, this is Women's Month, so honoring you as an amazing woman um, and, you know, just breaking barriers. Um, looking at body imaging through the years, through it fashion and just advertising and marketing, this is a new look in this new age that's never seen before. You all are creating history in this show. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Oh, geez. Um, it means the world to me. I think representation matters so much and the representation that's on this show is absolutely groundbreaking there's so many different types of women in, on this show come from so many different backgrounds and i think we all have stories that once they're told um i think that people are really gonna relate to them and and when people see other people that look like them it motivates them to do what they've always dreamed of doing so i think that I mean, it, it honestly means the world to me that we have this opportunity to represent such a misunderstood and such a underrepresented community. Definitely, definitely. As a woman in general, we all go through our whole insecurities and just trying to find ourselves, you know, what society deems as beautiful, right? Yeah. Um, and, 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 and trying to fit in that box, but we were never meant to fit in. Right. right. And, and I think the body positivity that shows in this show is that it doesn't matter how you look, which way it's just showing up and being who you authentically are. And I love the diversity, um, from, uh, from yeah. Kira, uh, Jayla, um, everybody that's in there, all the different, um, ladies that are in there representing their different styles, their different techniques. Yeah. I mean, there's some kicks, there's some flying in there. 
<laughs> there's some splits, there's some twirls. <laughs> there's so many things going on in there. And you you all just recently did South by Southwest. How was that? We did. Oh my goodness. South by Southwest was such a blast. Um, it was our first time kind of getting to meet people that have kind of watched a little bit of the show, got to see some sneak peeks. Um, and to see like potential fans was like absolutely like crazy um <laughs> it was so weird honestly um just seeing people that were like oh my god like i know who you are you you inspire me so much like this is so amazing oh my god i can't believe i'm like seeing you in person i'm like oh my god i can't believe i'm seeing you in person i never <laughs> thought like <laughs> i just it doesn't click that there's going to be people that this actually impacts like in theory i know it's going to impact so many people but to actually have them up close and personal at South by Southwest was such an amazing experience. What was it like? I mean, you've been on, you're, you know, um, you know, strangers to the stage, but what was it like being on that stage with, with your girls and being on that stage doing your thing? How did that feel? Oh my goodness. I, it's always a blast being on stage with my sisters. I call them my sisters from the show. Um, uh, because we rarely get to uh, get together and dance with each other ever since we left the house. Um, and hey, Sydney. Hello. Um, hey, Sydney. Yeah, and um, it's always such a blast to be on the stage with um, my fellow dancers because they always give me the energy that I need to boost my energy. So, you know, it's always a good time. Definitely, definitely. I love that. And and we have um the one and only Sydney Bell live in the building with us. Mm -hmm. And um I just love the chemistry that you both have also. You know, you guys have your own dynamic yes. chemistry. <laughs> so the question I have for both of you is when you first walked in the room and you saw all these different people, everybody came from different states, different places. What were your thoughts? Did you guys inst instantly like click when you first met? How was that whole environment, you know, like meeting the girls and everything like that? Um, for me personally, it was a little bit intimidating. I am used to being like a loner by myself. I'm always working by myself. Um, I'm used to performing by myself lately, especially with like after um, cheerleading and college dance ended, I do a lot of stuff on social media. So I'm by myself majority of the time. So it was very intimidating, but it was so crazy and wild that we all connected so quick. I think by the second day, I was already calling these girls my sisters um, and telling them about all of my like life experiences and stuff. So it was really, really awesome. I had to kind of let my guard down a little bit and, um, you know, allow the love to come in that these Aww. girls were willing to give. And um, it was beautiful because they were willing to accept the love that I was willing to give as well. So, of course, first I was very nervous, but it was the environment that we were in and, you know, the way that Lizzo is and how she wanted um, the house, the energy in the house to be. We all connected like within the first day or two. And I know because we're on crunch time, the, um, the question I have um, for both of you also is in regards to like body imaging, because Sydney, you're a big, both of you all about positive body imaging and you show the comparison about, okay, this body is still a good body, no matter what mm -hmm. it looks like, you know, talk to us about the evolution of body imaging and what does that look like for you all in the future, especially with the show and everything. And it's, it's also touching on topics that some people don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. I definitely hear what you're saying. Um, I really feel like this show is, you know, we have this stigma and this, um, it's been seen since we've been growing up in media. Whenever there is a curvy or plus size woman um, in TV shows, they're always mocked or they're always um, deemed as lazy or unmotivated. Um, and when it comes to especially black women or curvier women um, in reality TV, that's something that we rarely see. So I feel like this show is really just going to normalize seeing bigger bodies, kill it on stage, kill it um, in media, in reality TV. And it's also going to inspire, I feel like, the younger generations that are growing up that are going to see this and just remind them that this is normal. Um, this is something that is just like you said, I made a post the other day um, about just two women with different bodies. And that's all it is. We're just all here to exist um, in the bodies that we were blessed with. So I feel like it's really going to normalize um, curvier women and bigger women existing and killing it um, on stage and in media. 
definitely. What she said. <laughs> she, said <laughs> she said what she said. Definitely, definitely. And I mean, like I said, like I suffer from lymphedema. You got women that suffer from lymphedema and people that suffer from different, that cause them or thyroid issues, you know? So mm -hmm. highlighting yeah. these different things and, you know, and, and bringing awareness and spotlighting that and knowing that everybody in their own sense is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And you all are beautiful and amazing. And your talents are out of this world. When I watch, I'm like, wow, you all are acrobatic. Um, the technique, the execution. I used to be a former dancer and I've been waiting for this show for the longest. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so just like everything that you're doing, continue to do it. You are making us proud. We love you and continue shine. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do what you're doing because you're creating a new world, a new change, and you're definitely breaking down barriers. Thank you so much. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I know y'all have a whole bunch of media people to check out, but I just want to tell y'all thank you for checking out Lush Radio online. Yeah. And we're going to be watching more because I know there's more blessings to come. This is going to open even more doors. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're so excited. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. And you all have a blessed day. Don't you forget, too. life may throw you a curveball, but remember you're in charge of the direction it goes. Love, peace. Amen. Praise, <laughs> period. Bye-bye. <laughs>